creators welcome guys i hope you're having a phenomenally blessed day thank you for joining me for a moment with yours truly today we are going down the rabbit hole with prophetic word before we get into it though i just want to thank you guys and tell you that i'm truly honored to be here giving you guys these guys these messages always i pray that they find your hearts and remind you that you are the one that has the power to make a change in your life that being said, please like this video, share this video, and subscribe to my channel down below. Set that notification bell so you always know when the next video does go live. And today we're going to talk about, so I have three of these that I'm going to do today. And the first one's not very long. I think the second one's not very long. The third one might be somewhat long. So just depends if this one doesn't resonate with you. There will be others that are posted. So I don't post these all on the same day just because that's a lot to do in one day. But just so you know there will be others that you guys can check out so this one is going to be about there's somebody in your life that you love there's somebody in your life that you're very close to and that you want to have a relationship with however they've been ignoring you a lot recently and actually for some of you this person is tied to like has family ties to you they're not your family but they may be like a friend of your brothers or like a friend of your sisters or somebody like that and they're they're like close to the family and they've been ignoring you for a very long time and what is going on is that there's a process here that source wants you to know about you're in the process of healing you're in the process of letting go of things that are no longer serving you and what that means is that it is altering the way that this person sees you it's not that this person isn't attracted to you because they are it's just that they're dealing with their own things right when we heal then others heal and it doesn't matter how much healing you do you can't ever call in your soulmate just based on the healing that you do you call in your soulmate based on how you feel about yourself and so i bring this up because this person is very much in this energy of like only wanting to have a sexual relationship with you right now and this is about you finding your worth like source wants you to know to see your worth to see that you are worthy and deserving of having more than just a sexual relationship even though we're in this society right now that that seemingly is what most relationships are based on and i see you in this vision you stop them from getting sexually involved with you like you just put a stop to it and it's weird because when you do they actually start to respect you more like it's almost like a 180 in the relationship they go from ignoring you to now they want to talk to you they want to know about you they want to see you they want to you know just be around you because it's like you've learned to respect yourself and so now it gives them space to respect to respect you as well it's not that they didn't before it's just that they had an idea about you regardless if you were like this or not it doesn't matter they had an idea about you and now they're in this area of wow like my person really respects themselves and that's that's attractive to them like they're like whoa that is super sexy right and it puts you guys in this area where you begin to talk to each other you know i've been saying this on a lot of my videos there's this energy of a lot of unions coming into play here you know people getting involved with their person whatever title you've put on it it doesn't matter there are a lot of unions coming into play and so what ends up happening in my vision is that this person will try to kiss you and you even stop them from kissing you and they're just like no one's turned me down like that before like what and the reason being is because you realize you don't need them. And so that's what Source is telling you. If you're not in this energy just yet, keep working on yourself and your self-love, right? Keep showing up for yourself. Keep, you know, releasing things from the past that aren't serving you. Keep letting go of those things that just aren't helping you out along the way so that you can come into a space. Make sure you are honoring the divine, spending time with Source, with prayer, right? taking time with your which, whatever spiritual journey you're on, spending time in the spiritual word for yourself to really gain that self-respect for yourself. Because our first and foremost relationship should be with Source. And it's when we really embody that relationship here in the physical, it allows us to come up into a place of understanding that we are loving beings. We are already loved. We are already divinely guided. 
and we are worthy of the highest respect possible. We're not here just to give away our bodies. We're here to have deep connections with people, not just physical connections. That's just a part of the bonus once you connect with somebody that's meant to be with you, okay? So this was a very short vision that I was given. It did not last very long, and I was just kind of like, whoa, that was crazy. Um, but you guys actually like a lot of the same things. It was coming very clear to me. You guys are very opposite of one another. But no matter how opposite you are, or how opposite your lives have been, you guys like a lot of the same things. You guys enjoy like maybe the same uh pastimes right maybe you like to go hiking you guys like to go out and eat at this certain ice cream place or maybe you guys like to watch this certain type of show or you like to read this certain type of book like this they made it very clear that this person and you will connect on a very deep level and you guys will have much deeper conversations than you have with anybody else even though up until this happens it's been very shallow the connection has been very shallow Okay, and so this is just telling me that it's okay, don't be afraid, take your time, right? And really just keep doing you, do the things that make you happy, listen to your inspirations, listen to your guidance. It's so important to listen to that guidance. When you get inspired to do something, go and do it. Make sure you're spending time with Source and knowing that that is what you're meant to do, okay? So this is what I have for you guys. I hope that this helps you along your journey. Thank you so very much for being here with me with this prophetic word. I love you guys so very much. And until next time, go forth boldly, my fellow creators, and courageously find creative ways to rise above in life, laughter, and love. Until we meet each other again. Peace out. I love you all. Bye.